Hey guys, welcome to this lesson. So we're gonna learn how to divide decimals. So the only thing I want you to understand is that this one over here is not allowed to have a decimal. The one that's on the very end is not allowed to have a decimal. So we need to fix that. How do we fix this? Well, the way we fix it is we need to somehow be able to take this decimal and push it to the end. So how many places does it need to be pushed? One place, okay? Now, can you remember when we spoke about, um, well, you should know when you multiply numbers by 10, when you multiply numbers by 10, when you multiply numbers by 100, when you multiply by numbers by 1,000, something happens. And then also when you divide, divide, and divide. Let's quickly discuss that. When you multiply numbers by 10, the decimal goes one place right. With this one, the decimal, okay, you know it's decimal, it goes two places right. And this one goes three places right. When you divide by 10, the decimal goes one place left. This one is two places left and then goes three places left. So if we would like the decimal to go one place to the right hand side, then we need to multiply by 10. But what you do to this one, you have to do to this one. That's the thing you need to remember. So if we multiply this one by 10, the decimal goes one place to the right, so it becomes 122. And if you multiply this one by 10, it goes um, one place to the right, so it becomes, um, you could think of it as zero two, but a zero in the front like that, when there's no decimals, you can just ignore it completely. So now we actually just have this. This has become our brand new question. So now you can divide that however you want. Maybe you want to do this whole thing. So the number two cannot go into the number one. Now, I don't know if you prefer long division, short division. It's up to you, but you should get the same answer as me. Now we're going to test to see, can the number two go into the number 12? Yes, it can. Six times. Um, there'll be no remainder. And then the number two goes into the number two once. And so the answer is 61. Now, for this rest of this lesson, we're just gonna do a whole bunch of these. So here's the next one. So remember, this one here may not have a decimal. This one can have a decimal, but it's this one that comes on the right hand side. We don't want it to have a decimal. So how many places does the decimal, we wanna take this decimal and we wanna push it to the back. So it needs to go one place right. How do we do that? Multiply by 10. So what we will do to this one is multiply by 10, but what you do to that one, you have to do to the other one. And so this one is gonna just move one place. It's not gonna move all the way. It's just gonna move one. So it becomes three, eight, four, six, comma, four, divide. And then this number now becomes zero, four because the decimal's there. But remember, when you have a zero in the front like that, we can now get rid of that. And so the brand new question now becomes that. So we're then gonna go write this all out, and now we're gonna go do division. So the number four cannot fit inside the number three, okay? So we can't do anything there. Now you might do long division, I'm just gonna do short division, but your answer will be the same. The number four going into 38, it can go in um, nine times, and there will be a remainder of two. The number four can go into 24 six times. There's no remainder. The number four can go into the number six once, and there's a remainder of two. Now, before we get to this one, there's a little decimal there. So we put a little decimal, okay? And then the number four can go into 24 uh, six times. And so there is the answer, 961.6. The first thing to remember is that when you are dividing we never want this number, the one on the right, to have decimals. So we take this decimal and we need to push it all the way to the back. So how many t places is that? One, two, three. So we need to push it three places right. So if you look here, if we multiply by a thousand, it'll go three places right. So we're gonna multiply this number by a thousand, but what you do to that one, you have to do to this one. So this decimal is gonna go one, two, three and this decimal is gonna go one, two, three. So we now end up with that over there. You see how I just took the decimal three places? And then this one you're gonna end up with um, divide with zero, 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 
eight. Now having a zero in the front like that where there's no decimals, you can chuck all of those away. So those can disappear and this one can disappear. So we actually just end up with that. Now let's go put that into a divide. Now you can do long division or short division. I'm just gonna do short division. So the number eight cannot go into the number three. So I just put a little dot there and I carry the three over. The number eight can go into 36 four times because that'll give you 32. So there's a remainder of four. If you wanna do long division, that's fine. You'll have a whole bunch of stuff over here. It's fine, you're gonna to get to the same answer. The number eight can go into 47 five times because that'll give you 40. So there's seven left over. Now you see there's a little decimal here. So we put a decimal over there. Now the number eight can go into 72 nine times. So the final answer, whoopsie, is 45 comma nine.